Durham State Governor has unveiled plans to create a more achievable 2025 budget estimate by replacing the initial proposal. This decision was the outcome of a three-day budget review by the State Executive Council. Addressing newsmen at the final day of the expanded ministerial budget review held in Uyu and presided over by State Governor Pastor Mueno. The Commissioner of Information, Comrade Ini Emimobong, noted that this approach aims to enhance governance in the state by promoting transparency and accountability, while stressing it must align with the administration's arise agenda. At the end of it, we have a workable uh, estimate which would now be reworked by the Department of the, the Budget Office. And uh, so a more realistic budget, a more doable budget for government will come up, which would now be submitted again to the Executive Council for approval before being presented to the House Assembly by His Excellency the Governor. He has reiterated that this is done in pursuit of excellent project delivery which must tell on the fortunes of our people he emphasized the importance of inter-ministerial awareness during budget review session aimed at ensuring that each ministry is aware of developments across other sectors now this collaborative approach is believed to promote coordination and collaboration among other ministries in the state's public service and where amendments were needed, everyone participated in it. And what this has done is that every single person who participated in this session can speak about the entirety of government. And so the pigeonhole approach to governance, where people are just knowledgeable or concerned about their sector, has been collapsed completely with a flat structure where everyone can see what is on the table. Comrade Mimogabong further revealed that the state's government will pay its employees a minimum wage of 80,000 naira. He also disclosed that the governor has established a 15-member committee led by state head of civil service, Elder F. Young Asian, to analyze the implementation of the wage. Recall that the federal government had announced its own and the state has gone above that to say that in a problem state, the governor has announced that in a problem state, 80,000 will be the minimum wage. Having said so, he's also he inaugurated the committee, which will analyze and ensure the implementation because there are consequential adjustments that need to be done. And that committee has a month, headed by the head of civil service, has a month within which to submit the report. That committee has members of government, members of the labor unions, members of the joint service negotiating committee.